Give me my wallet, I give you. No, you know what? Um, please, uh, please, give me your money. Uh, if I have your wallet, please. What is the meaning of this? I don't have a job. Please, I need some money. Started again. Why won't I start again? You brought shame to your father's house. You have a son whose father you do not know. As if that one is not enough. You dropped that from school. Now what do you do? You jump from a to a jump just to feed him. Hey! Rebecca, what have I done to deserve this? Was it my fault? It is my fault. Rebecca, it is my fault. I was the person that got you pregnant. I used the cane. They call this child abuse. I talked. Mama talks too much. I warned you about men, but mm -mm. what you do is sleep out from the dormitory and go out catching for. Then you got yourself pregnant, had a child that you don't know who impregnated you, just because you had numerous of them. Now it is not your fault. Hey, I was the person that opened it, got it, and brought it out. It is not your fault. Oh, fault me, you know? Mama, please, it's okay. I don't want trouble, no. I don't want trouble. Didn't I try? God, didn't I try? I tried. What did I do to the only child I have? has gone to school. What of your mother? Mama. Who has gone to the market? <laughs> My friends have been going to hell in the hands of Mama. <laughs> Capital hell. But you know mothers now, eh? And their self-righteousness. Oh, it's not by like that, oh. It's not about self-righteousness at all. Every time, it's always Rebecca this, Rebecca that. Rebecca, you dropped out of school. Rebecca, Rebecca, you had a baby at, at home. Rebecca, you're a disgrace to your father's name. Hmm. Ah, ah. So 
sometimes I wonder if 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 I if I'm the first or, or, or the last person that had a baby in the house. I just don't understand. Eh? Maybe maybe if I had aborted the baby, I wouldn't be going through all this trauma. I wonder. Yes. I don't know why good girls always 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 suffer like this. And, and, and the world laughs at them. I just don't know. Nah, so look at me, Ruth. I was brought up in abject poverty. I never had any boyfriends, not until this year, when Yoke came into my life. He stayed buying me clothes, giving me money to have my hair made. But what did I get in return? My parents labelled me a prostitute. Are you serious? My mother even went to the extent of pouring water on him. My God. Now, Yoke has left me. And I am back to abject poverty. My dear. I don't know why good girls suffer this way. In my own case, Quincy promised me heaven and earth. But immediately he got me pregnant. He ran away. And now look at me, going through all this alone. Huh? You girls are all lucky that you know your parents. What about me that stays with that wicked auntie of mine? Hey, please, Esther. Ah. When we'll be talking, you too, you, 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 you will be talking. <laughs> you that live with a wealthy auntie that gives you everything that you want. But you girls know that I eventually sleep for her. Eh? I dare not smell her money. Eh? But you know how I yearn for freedom now. You know. She's <laughs> coming. Welcome, ma. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I told you before, this is what I go through every time. My own mother. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's the meaning of this now? Next time I will power hot on you. You slut girl! You only let her out there doing something reasonable with their life. What you are doing here is. Shut, 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 shut. What is it by that time? Turn her head! Look at you. Grown ups sitting down. Mama, I don't like this one. Okay, you don't like this. You don't like it. You're okay, you'll be able to my friends every time. I don't like it. Ah, okay, you almost got this. Hey, Mama, hey, hey, Mama, Mama, hey, Mama, 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 don't stop this one. Stop, stop, Mama, stop. Hey, this last girl. Mama, stop this one. Stop it. Okay, we will come back. They are on the trip. I had a baby. Eh? Didn't I do a good thing by, by not even aborting it? Because I'm a Christian. That's why. Look at this. 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 Go and find yours. Hey, woman. Mm -hmm. Attack or Maka? Where do you think you're going? Oh, Chimo. I want to go and see my friends. Which friends? My friends now. You're the one that poured water on them. And you chased them out of your house. That they shouldn't come to your house again. Eh? Uh -huh. So let me go and see them in their own house. And who do you think you're talking to? Can you chill up? Mama! Mama, stop this one. Ah, uh, Mama, what, what, what was the meaning of that one now? I can see that you've not learned from hey. your past mistake. Mama! You have not learned from the mistake you've made before. Mama, mind yourself, oh! You, Stop, stop it, oh! Stop it! You let me! You push me! Hey. Mama! Hey. What's happening now? Mama! Come back! Where are you running? Come back now! Oh, you pushed me! Hey! Rebecca! You pushed me! Your mother! Okay! You want to bring shame into your father's house! You've brought shame to yourself, not to me now! You pushed me! Emeka will push you! That is a promise! Rebecca, come back, oh! Who's going to take care of yourself when he comes back from school? You now! Me. Are you not the grandmother? Hey, you take care of him now. Eh? Ah. 
My grandmother did not take care of me. It was my mother that took care of me. Watch your Go and wait for Hey! Hmm? Do this thing fast too. You know I've been waiting for you. Hi guys! Hey, Isabella. Isabella! It is me, alive and direct. Hmm. Hey, look at you. You just look like someone that just stepped out of heaven. And the obvious! That is because I have seen the light. This light, they shine where for your body. We are interested in seeing it. It's a simple thing. Change your environment and good things will definitely come your way. It is for those who have the opportunity. Destiny lies in your hands, my friend. I've been searching at my. I can't find it. Determination, my friend. When you're determined that you have goodwill, good things will definitely and abundantly come your way. As for now, my destiny lies in my parents' hands. Rubbish. I still live with them. Mm. My own to said determination is a ploy for me to become a prostitute. Bullshit. She will never leave to see me live here for now. Well, I dared to change my environment. Hmm. You are really looking good. Look at how I look today. <laughs> you guys should leave this place. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Do you look good. Yeah. I feel like You have on your face. Um, well, I've been I've been thinking about what? I've been thinking about what you said about one being able to make her destiny. Do you want to look the way I look? Yes. Follow me. Hi. Hi. Come Isabella. on, girl. Hello. Look at you. <laughs> you just look like someone that just came down from the moon. I'm going to the city to look for a better life for myself. And you're living in America here. Ha. Mama, you're making me angry. Is he not your grandson? Take care of him now. Rebecca, do you know that you are a disgrace to womanhood? Thank you. You are not supposed to be a mother at all. You see motherhood? You are a disgrace to them. Thank you. I don't work here. Have you finished? I am. Waka waka. My dear, who is your dear? I'll come and take you soon, eh? Be a good boy. 
You are waving at her. Learn from your past mistake, oh, Rebecca. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to take it. You may have all that. Let's go. You have to be strong and smart to be able to survive here. When I first came into this town, it was hell. For two weeks, I was living in a hotel. And when I ran out of cash, of course I was thrown out into the streets. Mm. So I went to look for jobs, but I got none. So I had no option. I had to sell my body or use <laughs> the other way. The other way? Yes. I understand. I understand all that. You understand? Yes. You know, as a matter of fact, I am... Um, I used to pick pockets in the village, you know. Just to to take care of Emeka. Well, you know, sometimes my my mom keeps accusing me of sleeping with men uh, to, so that I could get money. But she was wrong. That makes the two of us then. But is there no decent job in this town? <laughs> there are, my friend. There are decent jobs, but you have to sweat and pray hard to be able to get one. But I prefer the easy way, <laughs> the itchy fingers. My, my, my. Mm. You want some? No. Are you sure? You don't want to be big girl. <laughs> Come on, let me groom you up, John. Mm -mm, it's not by like that, that to be a big girl. <laughs> it's by like this, so. Uh -uh. Like, <laughs> 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 Isabel, this place is cool. Do you see? Okay, you see.
are still here. These things are still here. Just thinking. Let me take another look at you. Okay. okay. Oh, you look lovely. Thank you. You Thank look you, very husband. lovely. <laughs> give, it, give it to me. Give it to me. Give me. Thank to you, my dear. <laughs>
Well, the funny well, thing is, my friend, go and run my mother's shop. We came here first. Where's this one from? What, what are you saying? Give me the thing, I'll shoot all of you. Where the money? What, what money? Get the money. My friend, go and get the money. My friend, get the money from me. What's your problem? I'm robbing with a rig gun. People are robbing with toy guns. You want to try the bullets? No, I don't want to. Good. Why are you looking? Get the money. I will shoot you. I will waste both of you now. Why is this one looking at me? got me pregnant, life has been difficult for me. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you in the store. I have a son. I have a son? Why, did, why, why didn't you tell me? How would I tell you? After you disappeared into thin air? After raping me? I didn't rape you. Oh yes, you did. What would you call what you did? Well, you cost it. I cost it? You tore my clothes and raped me! Well, I had to do it. After all this time going out with you, and you would sleep with me? What was a man to do? You were impatient. I loved you. Why are you staying? I'm staying with my friend. La, but la, la, you now the police la, have I don't know what to do. What about my son? He's in the village with my mother. Well, I, I live from hand to mouth. But somehow we'll find a way to take care of him. We? I'll take care about you. Well, I, I, I came to the city to hustle. To, to, to look for a better life. To take care of my son. Take care of my son. Two is better than one. We'll hustle together. 
I think we'll be fine. Maybe. But for now, I have to help out my friend. The police have her. I don't know what to do. She was the one that brought me to this city. I just have to look for someone influential to, to take care of her, to help her out. At least for now. Don't you need anybody here? I guess I'll try it. Some, some that I'll make sure that all the security de details are well taken care of. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Gertrude. Thank you. Bye. Uh, any messages for me? No, sir. But your niece is waiting for you in the office. My niece? Yes, sir. She was so sure of herself that she couldn't wait for you here. My name is Rebecca. I need your help. But I don't know you. Yes, sir. You don't know me. Well, I went to a supermarket with my friend last night, and an arm robber came in, and we were caught up in a crossfire. Then the shop attendant hit my friend on the head, and she collapsed. But in the confusion, I ran away and the police arrested my friend. She was arrested? Yes. Why? Well, she had a gun, a toy gun on her. A toy gun? And uh, what was your friend doing with a, a gun? No, no, a, a toy gun. She bought it for her nephew. And where was this? Um, four streets away from here. Hmm. Bale? DPO, good morning. Good morning, how are you? <laughs> yes, it is Gerald, yes. How are you? And the children? Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to make an inquiry. Uh, this, did you have any armed robbery reported from a um, supermarket by, by around uh, Justin? The owner, the owner of the shop was hit, was hit, was hit in the head. I see. And the female suspect is in your custody. Well, thank you. I'll call you back. Yes, I'll call you back. Thank you very much. So, you see, you better go to the police station and explain yourself. Sir, you know I can't do that. You know how the policemen behave. They will definitely look for something to hook me up in. And I, I, I can't afford to do that because I don't have a job and I have to take care of my son. You're married? Um, no. My boyfriend got me pregnant. So what are you doing? Calling the police. Oh, please sir. Please sir. Please don't do that. Sir, please, I can't. I'm ready to do anything for you. I am sorry. Sir, please. Please don't do... Sir, please. DPO, I'll call you back. Pull up your skirt. So are you ready to help me? I don't know. I'll try. Please. 
please. How did you know who I am? Um. Sir, I got this from your wallet. Your whole details. My friend picture pocket. On the bar. You are full of sin. Sir, please, please. Sir, I am ready to give you my body and soul. I'm ready to do anything for you. Anything. Just name it. Please. As long as you're ready to help me, my friend. You are full of sin. I, I, I have a busy schedule, but I'll see what I can do. Sir, I can assure you, you won't regret this. Um, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll keep this. How are we going to handle this case? They are both juveniles. Yes. Even if we take them to court, we have not got enough evidence to prove that they were in that shop to rob. I, 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 I know. But, look, any good lawyer will tell you will tell you that there is not uh, enough evidence to convict them. Yes, it will only be the attendant's word against theirs. Look, my advice will be for us to concentrate on this unidentified male who was at the scene of that crime. I think perhaps that's where we should concentrate all our efforts. All right. Thank you, DPO. Thank you. And we'll, we'll talk some more later. Good. Thank you. Bye. Darling, hmm? how was it? <laughs> it would have been ordinary, but for a girl who came into my office asking me to help her. How? She claimed that um, she and her friend were in a supermarket when it was being robbed. Somehow they got caught in the crossfire. Uh, and uh, the police arrested her. Why can't you? Exactly. You remember my wallet that I lost? Mm -hmm. They stole it. That's interesting. Mm. Mm. Can you oh, my dear, thank you. Mm. Why not? Mm. It's sweet. Very good.
Yeah. Have you seen the man? Um, I'll I'll try and see him tomorrow. Hmm. Are you sure he can do it? Of course, he he gave me his word. He said he would see what he could do. That he would try his best. Okay. You know. Now that I've found you, I don't want to lose you anymore. The case against the girl has been dropped on the condition that she leaves town. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gerald, if I may ask, why are you so interested in the case? Honestly? I don't know. <laughs> Philanthropy, I guess. Please, know how you help these street kids because they might put you in trouble. The girl will help us in our investigations concerning the unknown man. Though the one in our custody keeps swearing that they don't know who he was. And um, the DPO would like to see you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Most appreciated. Thank you. The Nigerian place which I proudly represent is said to protect and serve its citizens. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll call the DPO. The case against your friend has been dropped. <laughs> thank God, thank God. This is good news. Thank you. Upon condition that she leaves town. It is obvious that uh, she has been a negative influence on you. And you need to be put on the straight and narrow. Where do you live? my ex. What does he do? Um, he Nothing uh, tangible, I imagine. Is he involved in any way with the robbery? No. Uh Hello, my dear. Guess who is coming to dinner? The young lady, the one I told you came to my office asking me to help her. Oh, come on. Okay, all right. Bye. You can't possibly do that, sir. Why? You hardly know me. We are in the process. Your wife? Don't worry about that.
I brought someone to see you. <laughs> Stella, she's greeting you. Gerard, I need to talk to you privately. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, give us a couple of minutes, eh? Sit down over there. I have bought so many things in many years of our marriage. But I can't bear this. I won't tolerate it any longer. How can you bring a thief into our home? Gloria, your voice. There is nothing like Gloria in my voice. She has to leave this moment. Stella, this poor girl needs a guardian. And I don't want her to end up on the street. And she's already on the street. Or is it not from the street you picked her? Don't create a scene. What is happening to the world? Gerald, this is our matrimonial room. You are overreacting. Call it whatever you want. It is better to save a situation than to call for an explanation. She has to leave. Listen, you, you've done so much for me already. I have to go. She has the gut to interrupt us. Eh? Oh my God. Hi. Stella, what happened to your humanitarian spirit? Humanitarian spirit, my foot. There is nothing like humanitarian spirit. Not at all. Hey! Rebecca! Rebecca! Where are you coming from? I asked you a question, where are you coming from? Eh? I told you he was able to use his contacts to free Isabella and make all charges against her dropped. That's, I, I, I don't understand all no Robin Hood nonsense. You hear me? The thing is simple. Where are you coming from? That, that, that might, might have happened to you. Where are you coming from at, at this type of night? From his house! What were you doing in his house? Wait a minute. Why all those questions? Why? Because you belong to me. You belong to me and no one else. Indeed. Where were you all this while I was wandering out in the wilderness? Where were you? Because I did to make amends. Don't you understand it? Get into your head, we're not together. Leave me. Go on. Do what you do best. Go to sleep. It's not too. Admit it. I say admit it. You are on heat for her. Where are you going? You are on heat. I say you are on heat for her. Admit it. You are on heat for her. Admit it. Hey! You pushed me.
What is wrong with you now? Why can't you appreciate my little efforts? Quincy, I need a better life. What better life is this? I, 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 I just said the mood. Eh? Look at all the troubles I went through. Br brought you breakfast in bed. This is the appreciation I get. Why can't you appreciate my little efforts? With this, bread, granulat, and this, pure water. Huh? Is 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 romance? Is is philosophy of it? No 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 the main, main thing. And this is now 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 dark water by the way. It's more expensive than normal water. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, it's, it's me, Rebecca. Uh, I'm fine, thank you, sir. Uh, no, sir. Hey, um, sir, I can come to your office. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I, I, I'll be there. <laughs> thank you. Um, how much is it? How much is it? This is the 21st century. You need to stay connected. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You deserve it. Hey. Ah. Bibika. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And uh, you are going to need to change your wardrobe. I think this will help you in that area. Everyone has a phone. I deserve one. Well, I don't have one. That's you. That old man is up to something. Mm. I can feel it. Whatever it is, he has given me a good life. I appreciate it. Man, this phone is... I've, to I've told you not to be dropping your clothes. Where did you get this money from? Give it back. Where did you get this money from? Where did you get all this money from? He gave it to you, didn't he? What if he did? I don't want to share with anybody. You understand me? I will do crazy things. I don't want to share with anybody. Yeah, okay. How much does 
have I warned you about this time? Are you a monkey? Let's go outside. Get away, Benway. Jeez. Go inside. Are you still standing? Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside. This boy is mocking me. God, I'm in your hand too. For the past two months, Rebecca left her phone. Nobody has seen her or heard her. I bet you can't climb that tree. I can. You can't. I can. You can't. I can. Now show me. My grandma warned about climbing trees. She won't know. Look at that tree. You can climb it. Show me. You are going back tomorrow? Yes. So will you continue to stay with Quincy? Mm, well, I don't know for now. But all I know is that it will take a long time before I come back to this village. So, we won't be seeing? We'll be talking on the phone. Don't worry, I... I'll, I'll be happy to have you girls come around. Better do because I'm fed up with this environment. Me too. <laughs> it's okay. I promise I will invite you girls when things get better for me. Okay? Hmm? I'm very sorry about your son. It's so painful. I understand. Life is a circle going around and around and for sure. After the dark comes up to break up the dawn, it for sure. And whatever you've done yesterday comes hurting you today. I don't know who you are or what you want from Rebecca. 
but stay away from her. I will only say this once. Talk to your husband. I'm sure you don't want to be a widow. Thank you for bailing me. I really appreciate it. You know, when I came back here, I... I could not stand the vacuum your absence caused here. That's when I realized how attached I was to you. But the best thing that's happened to me, the kindest thing, and I'll do anything to make you happy. Do you really mean that? Yes. I'm very sure. Going to the market to get some personal effects. Can I borrow two thousand naira? So where am I supposed to get the money for? If you had fifty thousand yesterday. But I thought you were against the source where it came from. My money should be gotten by hook or crook. Act like you don't know. Don't you need somebody to hold the money for you, the rest of the money? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Rebecca. Sit down, sit down, sit down. We have a lunch date. Then we mustn't keep this chef waiting. Call them and book the table. Okay. Oh, yes. Shall we? You're crazy. You are crazy. So crazy. I want him. I want him to stay away from you. I am going to look for a better life. That is what I'm going to do. You can't leave me. You are not my father or my husband. Leave me alone, Missy.
My secretary told me you are here. Yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Sit down, sit down. Nothing. It just I was passing by and decided to pop in to know how my husband is doing. <laughs> I am great. But I can say that. Ah, excuse me. Hello? This is Rebecca. Um, please, I'll, I'll call you back to tell you what to do, okay? You call me back. Right. Sorry, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't answer. And my wife was here. Yes. You are homeless, right? Okay. Go to um, Blue Star Hotel. That's on 37 Picnic Avenue. Yes, I'll call the manager and they'll get a, a room ready. I'll come over later and then we'll talk. Okay? No problem.
What's the problem? I am shy. Really? That makes the two of us. <laughs> You're shy. You're the best way of handling it? I'm leaving you. I know she is young and sexy. Go on. She can move in now that I'm gone. It is not your fault. Ah, Karakam. It's my destiny. I know I cannot give you a child. And you want to try her. Because it's clear for you. staring at me like that. She's gone. Um, who? My wife. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good news. No, I know you want it here. I know. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's absolutely delicious. Well done. Mm. <clears throat> um, it's 
getting late. I think I should be heading back to the hotel. Mm. Well, I've been thinking. About what? It's about two weeks now since my wife left. Now should we continue to pay hotel bills when you can move in here? What would people say? Do I look like someone who cares what people say? I am very, very happy with you. And that is all that matters. Uh, I know, but... I just don't want to be a source of ridicule for you. Good. So tomorrow you go to the hotel and move your things here. Tomorrow? Yes, tonight. You spend with me in my bed. Get us, so you know we are your friends. Hey, please. Don't worry, I'll remember you. What am I even saying? I have an
Yeah, an excellent idea. To forget where you're coming from Cruising nice and easy Feels like you on top of the world Makes you to forget where you're coming from Hello 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 Hello
my dear. Oh. How much do you have, Ruth? If you had this check of 200,000, mm -hmm. having fucked close to 2 million. Yes. Hmm. That's good. What of you, Esther? Same too. <laughs> really? You girls are not doing that at all. But um, you girls still have a long way to go. Because I am financially worth more than both of you put together. When you come across a fool, collect all you can. Because free lunch does not come all the time. Yeah, yeah, you can say that again. I would put yeah. <laughs> Look at them. You guys are really learning very fast. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Bad Manager, what brings you to my office? Mr. Gerald, you've been like a father to me. Thank you, yes. And I've been managing your account since I became a banker. And I have never regretted it for one moment. Ever since I started managing your account, I have never seen cash withdrawal at the rate it's being drawn from your savings account by your three lady friends. Is there anything wrong in that? It's your money. But as a friend, you're not doing the right part. Mr. Obina, these three ladies are giving me the best time of my life. We are supposed to be married. But without issues. And the way she left of her own accord, Like I said, it's your life and money. You're an adult. But like a friend, I thought I should just alert you. You're quite right. I am an adult. I know what I am doing. And it is my money. See you at the club this evening. symbol of a hopeless man. Man, no one is hopeless. Maybe because you've not heard my life history. When my mother was pregnant with me, her father abandoned her. She was a prostitute, you see. I never met him. My mother managed to put me through secondary school. And then she died after that. She died of AIDS. I met Rebecca soon after that, while I was in SS1. She got pregnant for me. I ran away after that, disappearing to thin air. You mean abandon her? I had to. I've known nothing but love in my life. I didn't realize how much I loved her until she resurfaced in my life lately. And now she's leaving with that which was food. Anyway, I'll be moving out tomorrow. I just finished my last exam yesterday. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy I'm graduating. Very, very happy. We could have been very good together, you know. Lose some. Lose some. Well, then I think it's time. Queen's sister.
Are you alright? Mm. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Are you sure you're not pregnant? Pregnant? Oh, it can't be. Just in case if you are, you have to tell him. Tell him what? I'm not pregnant. Mm. We are trained up. Anyway, let me just see the doctor first. You need so to see confirm. the doctor, okay? You need to see the doctor. So, so I'm even having... My baby. Oh my God! Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to window shopping this afternoon, and I said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. "I looked and looked. I saw some things. I said, mm, Mama might like this. So I got you a present." Check it out. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh. Look at this. Oh. La 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 I know you like it. La. See. Life's in pretty oh. easy way. Oh, yeah. you are. <laughs> Makes you chief forget where oh. you're coming from. Cruising nice and easy feels like you and chum of the world. Makes you to forget where you're coming from. But when things of yesterday comes around today, come on, girls, look. You got me this present. Isn't it sweet? I know, I know. 
Thank you. Oh, and uh, how is he doing? I beg your pardon, who? The boy. Which boy? Him. Sorry. It's a girl. It's a boy. No, girl. Boy. Girl. Boy. Girl. Boy, boy, boy. Girl, 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 girl. Let's just wait. Boy. Let it be come out. Boy. It's a girl. Boy, boy. Boy. Sit, sit with me. Yes. Yeah. You know, I was just um, trying to check my mail. What's that your address? Your email address? One, four. Mm. Let me see all the small. <laughs> no, 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 no. Since she became pregnant, she be acting as if she's not the madam of this house. Hey, I wonder. Let's go. need to be shredded. Can't you see we're watching the TV? I can see you're watching the TV. But we will not eat TV today. Didn't you hear what Ruth said? What on earth is wrong with you girls? That you should come and help me in the kitchen and you're here sitting around here watching TV. You girls know I am pregnant. Pregnant indeed. Hey, hey. Ah, uh -uh. why did you switch off the TV now? Oh. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Um, Ruth, please, can you help me get a glass of juice? Oh. Why don't you just get it yourself? Because I am pregnant, that's why. Are you the first one in this world to get pregnant? Huh? My sister, I won't die. Esther, please just give me the juice since we refuse. Hey, 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 Rebecca, please don't disturb me. I won't. Just stand up and get it yourself. Take this any longer. 
You girls don't have any right to file nails in my living room. Living room indeed. Is it not? Mm. I personally brought you girls into this house. Mm. Look at your mouth. Are you legally married to Mr. Jared? Look, Esther, I have been trying so hard to condone all the insults both of you have been heaping on me. For now, I will not take it. Mm. Why won't we insult you? Why all you do is buzz us around? Why won't I buzz you around? Give me one reason why I shouldn't! I personally brought both of you into this house. Besides, I am carrying his baby. Don't forget that! But you stole someone else's husband. Like you used to be again. You think we don't know? Me? Don't you ever remember my past? Uh. Uh. What is going on here? Drink some more. After the dark sure. comes up uh, the you right? of the dawn. And for sure. And they, whatever they, they, you've done. They're gone. Yesterday <laughs> comes hard to Why why aren't you cheerful? Today. I want the baby and I'm whatever to have you say. Yesterday. But I am the father. Is that all? Day, 
Right. Um, this weekend, we'll go and see your mother. Very serious. Thank you. Stella, it's me. Were you able to meet Mazo Gumneme yesterday? Yes. Good. That you are a woman won't stop you from developing your father's land here. Your father, my brother, was a great man. But the only problem I had with him was that he raised all of you in camp. Never for once in your adult lives did he bring you people home. When he died, we were studying abroad and never came back until your husband brought someone else into your home. You are right. You see, my husband's people never welcomed me well. Because my bride price was not paid. You see it. But we learn every day. We should never forget our culture. All the education in this world will never erase the fact that we have here also. Imagine if I see your husband. If you see my daughter Rebecca, you know her. It's true, I don't know how. I'm the only person I have a faint idea of how to do this. I died in Liberia for the world. Don't do it. Yeah? Okay, we are alive. By the way, when last did you hear from her? I can't wait to meet her. Like I said, the last time I saw or heard anything from her was when Erika has to It was the last time I heard anything That's my husband. Huh? That's my husband. My husband. Rebecca. Hey! He's my husband. And this is the street girl that is sleeping with him. <laughs> it can't be. I don't understand what you say. He is my husband. And she is the street girl that is seeing him. Hey! I'm finished. <sighs> that's her. That's Rebecca, your cousin. Is that the Rebecca? Hey! I said it, I said that you bring shame into your father's compound, Rebecca. <laughs> Stella, what's going on? She's my aunt. My late father's step sister. You are sleeping with her daughter. How come? Rebecca, you are sleeping with your cousin's husband. How was I supposed to know? Well, I'm pregnant for him. Pregnant what? You're not sick. That is exactly why we're here. He wants to marry me. Over my dead pot. Not why I am still Britain. You know it. I can never approve of that. Oga, look at your wife. Come and take your wife home. As for you, leave your cousin's husband alone for her. Madam. Be better. Madam, I want to marry her. She is carrying my baby. And I say no. Not why I am still living. I did not hear what you people said, though. Let's go. Ow. Rebecca! <laughs> Rebecca, where are you going with someone else's husband? Hey! Rebecca! <laughs> hey! 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 I want you. I want you. 
We'll get the doctor to come take a look at you, okay? Yes, I'll, just I'll be back. Yes, thank you. Hold it. I'll be back to work. Seriously, I don't remember you. She don't remember Eminike. Eminike, your childhood friend? I mean, you used to tell me stories of how you people used to climb that Agudala tree at the village square and, and how he fought for you when people would marry other children, called you names and called you nicknames. You told me all this. What, what is wrong with you? What, what is wrong with you now? I don't even remember you. You don't remember me. Show my your wife. 